hands up those of you who have got a garden shed. For those of you who do have a garden shed, well really, it's the answer to your storage prayers. If you've got a garden, you have gardening tools, things like rakes and shovels and whippersnippers and leaf blowers and maybe even a bike and a couple of paintings in there. So a good sturdy garden shed really is the answer to your storage problems. Well this show has taken me all around the country and I have seen some shockers. I've seen sheds which are older than Danny. I've seen sheds where the door's falling off. I've seen sheds that sometimes really don't even qualify as a shed. And then there's this place. They sort of kind of nearly got a shed, but didn't quite make it. Not quite sure what happened here. There is a very lonely, but very beautiful looking concrete slab, which is begging for a garden shed. So I've had a chat with today's homeowners and they've given me permission to solve their garden storage problems. So I'm gonna show you how to shed healthy home style. Your slab has to be just a little bit bigger than your sheds. The concrete is have tapered off the edge of the slab as well. That helps any excess water just run straight back into the garden. So when it comes to choosing the right type of shed and the size, we kind of got to think about the area you've got to work with and then think about the size that you want and then add half onto it because I guarantee you'll use all of that storage space. For us, well the homeowner's already had a slab put down there which is about 3100 which is perfect for our pinnacle shed which is going to be three metres long. So I reckon we're on a winner. We have gone for a Pinnacle Hardware Sheds. They are one of the best garden shed brands in the country. It is tough, it is strong, and it really is built to last. The thing I love the most is it comes in a ready-to-made kit form. So assembly is pretty straightforward. All the bits and pieces you need, all the hardware, are all inside that kit. And I think we're gonna go pretty well with this. So we'll take a short break, and we'll come back a little later in the show and see how our garden shed is looking. Earlier on in the show, we got to work building a brand new garden shed for our homeowners today because previous owners, well, they already had the concrete slab laid down there. It was just screaming out for a good shed. So we've gone for a pinnacle hardware shed because we not only wanted something that was strong and sturdy, but we also wanted something that wasn't going to be an eyesore. So you can assemble all of this yourself, but you're gonna need a hand, so pull in a few favors from a handy mate or two. The Pinnacle Gable Series sheds are engineered for extra strength. The doors are braced, the corners are braced. It's all for that important extra strength. Before you start building, you might wanna check with your local council just in case there are any permits that you'll need. There are very strict building codes around garden sheds, so you must make sure that your shed meets them. Don't just go buying any old rubbish online. Luckily for us, this Pinnacle range ticks all of those boxes. How come Mr Mullet's making me walk backwards? That's what I'd like to know. Well, now your shed is all bolted down, you're pretty much good to go. And what better way to finish it off by putting in some shelving systems and a bit of a workbench as well. So then it is a perfect excuse to go out and buy some new tools and stack these shelves. These are all from Pinnacle Hardware again, and a perfect addition to help finish the shed off. This shed is absolutely beautiful. Have a look at it. I really like the colour as well, actually. It's a huge three metre by three metre shed from Pinnacle Hardware. And all of those shelves inside there are gonna make for a perfect addition to this garden. They have some really cool inspiration on their website as well. So if you wanna decide and shortlist a few products before you head down to Bunnings, then just have a look at their website. It's pinnacle.net.au.